Liab, I mean, they could pick that up. Lucian is a pretty good pick. Renekton and Lucian, maybe. Okay, they're gonna go with Lucian, maybe. And Grand Sky Esports, they could pick up Lucian for themselves. Oh, no. Okay, they want to stick with their Corky, I guess. Um, yeah, they're much more comfortable with this. Yeah, Corky is underrated right now. I mentioned this in the previous series. Uh, Corky just won the game for them. They should have so much damage. And with the new items, the, uh, what do you call this? The Arcane, uh, forgot the name. <laughs> it's at the tip of my tongue. But right now, there are so many items that favors Corky a lot. It's like it's tailor-made for Corky. So Corky is mm -hmm. very strong. Lucia is still available. And there, there it is. It is going to be taken by... Uh, by Liab Esports. Lia Esports this time, Jana is gonna be picked up by Nixu. Yes, um, they're gonna go back with the usual disengage, given that Gragas, well, he is also a disengager now that it's Nibida Darius and Ziggs. as well as the Ziggs could be picked up by Grand Sky. I mean, they could lock that in. It's all right. about that obnoxious amount of rage, of um, not rage, range. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, um, they just want to go full on 5v5. You have Nami for the heals, for the sustains, and the last pick for Liab Esports is gonna be an Ari, a control right. mage. Um, looking at the draft of Liab Esports, it's mm -hmm. leaning a tad bit more onto the pickoff side. Whereas right. Grand Sky, they just want to keep on fighting. That's it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, that's a very good point. Um, welcome to Southeast Asia. Team fights are is the name <laughs> of the game, really. But True. yeah. Um, the the name of the item I was worth thinking about earlier was Essence Reaver and the Novori Quick Blades. Those are mm -hmm. tailor made for Corky, unlimited skills and dishing out so much damage. That is gonna be very scary. So that's why I say Corky is kind of un underrated right now. Even Grand Sky is giving up the Lucian for the Corky pick, and they're gonna go for the Ziggs uh, instead. I mean, I like the draft so far. It makes sense. It's just that it's surprising to see Lucian being picked in the second rotation red side. Right. So right. um, it just shows how different. If I may use that term, the priority for these two teams are, but it's gonna be the usual matchup at the jungle. You have Gragas, you have Lee Sin too. Um, early game, of course, Ziggs is gonna have the advantage against Ari. Ari will have a hard time just trying to keep up with the Ziggs. And once Yato goes online, it's gonna be a problem for the side of um the yeah, when it comes to the burst. Yeah, we're gonna be watching that definitely. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Wild Rift. This is game number one this evening. Grind Sky on the blue side and Liab Esports on the uh, on the red side. Uh -huh. Two champions here for both teams just to try to clear the wave, and everyone will go through their respective lanes after this. Okay, looks like that is gonna be a pretty standard. Um starting phase or laning phase for these two teams Miki is just gonna get the buff no one is actually invading so far just yet just the usual pokes here and there even at the baron side and yeah still gonna be a quiet match of course the usual drill they're gonna wait for the items or the lead right. maybe even the first dragon if it's an infernal jake but i guess high priority for the repel just to make sure that they at, they have this assurance that they can take down one turret for the early game yeah, that's definitely a very good question, but it's Infernal Drake that's going to be the first trade. So let's see how teams are going to be reacting. Both teams, I love the lineup right now. Both are very flexible. They can go for team fights, but huh? both teams can also go for the split push. That's going to be enabled by the Renekton, and then we have the Lee Sin also. And also on the opposite side of Grind Sky Esports, they have the option with the Darius. That's going to be good poke right here. But here comes Lee Sin. There is going to be a ward right here by Majo. So Ma Majo is going to be okay at this top side. Yeah, well, um, power spike for Darius is probably on level three, level four. So I don't see that. I don't see the logic behind him being aggressive in the er in the early part of the game. He is just gonna go in with. He's just he's just gonna stick rather with the usual turret hogs here and there. That's also why Migi is visiting the Baron lane sometime as he just starts connecting. No actual pokes just yet. But yes, um, Migi doing trying to go in with the invades. Just stop the snowball possibly from Meng, from Grand Sky Esports. All right, good, good, good invades right here by Lee Sin. At the top side, Lee Sin is gonna be stalking. Migi will try <laughs> for that take, but Ma Ma Majo is gonna be okay. We'll be sniffing that out. That's <laughs> one of those wards that are very valuable. So he got a lot of from that ward at the top side. That is true. I mean, again, um, Vision is also one of the names of the game aside from uh -huh. Wild Rift and Team Fights, if you know what I mean. But yeah, right. um, especially in the early game, I mean, both teams would want to just 
get this early kills, early invades, ganks rather, rather than invades, and also the fact that Majo was able to, you know, um, sniff the mm -hmm. presence from the side of Leo of Esports, was able to keep himself safe, um, but now looking at the Dragon side, it's also just the usual um, pops and love taps here and there. Um, yeah, I, I guess both teams, they, just, they, they would just want to wait for the first Rift Herald, and first dragon for the team, but here at Brandon Lane side though. Oh, interesting right here. Here comes take number three, and Majo takes a kick in the face, gets taken down, and that's gonna be first blood taken by Liab Esports as Dawn will have the cash in his pocket. Well played, Liab Esports. Yeah, well played indeed. And this is the power of the Lee Sin and Renekton combo. Especially in the early game, that's why Migi was trying to visit the barrel lane time and time again. Also the fact that as Adarius, he got taken down in the early game. Plus, a turret from the Baron side already going to be taken down. That's a lot, or that's rather a huge leader, huge advantage for Liab in the early game. A very oppressive combo. The fact that the stun's connected, and even though Majo used a flash and the barrier earlier on, and still mm -hmm. not survive, I guess that's just him being caught out by this Lee Sin. Yes, definitely. And that is going to be very good for Liab Esports, knowing that Renekton will have the adva advantage on the top side. This Darius Majo will have his hands full defending the top side, but he's usually going to be on the losing side. But here, Dragon is already available. Infernal Drake is the name of the game, and everyone is already here. Dragon Tasha. already 500 down, and that's going to be Lee Sin who takes that one. Good job by Mige. Uh, Bo sends out a tidal wave, but it's going to be a tad bit too late. So Liab will get out after taking the Infernal Drake. It was a good satchel. It did connect. It did connect onto four. It was just too late. Grand Sky, they were not able to go with the steal. All right, let's see. Miggy is here. Sonic Wave is going to be connecting, but there is no reload on that. Okay. So it is Grand Sky who will take the Rift Herald. Yeah, you get Infernal Drake, we get the Herald. Could be summoned either at the mid lane or at the Baron lane for the latter part of the game. Tactical and Bow though, they're gonna go over with the switcheroo. And just Majo will be up against this Lucian just to try and stop him from snowballing. Um, they have the same levels though, both mm -hmm. sitting at the level 7. And here comes the Renekton Lee Sin combo, just forcing tactical as well as bow to take a step back go back to their base right. and get some items in ludens echo already available for the two mid laners but ari has a roughly 1k gold lead up against the six definitely looking at dawn uh dawn already has the first item completed right here so darius majo is gonna have his hands full once again this is gonna be very dangerous for grind sky and this will enable the split push for liab esports so i think that we're gonna be seeing that later on as here on the bottom side pressure on this turret will be starting here comes gragas meng sends out the rift herald right here here comes the cavalry of liab there's a ward right there so elion is gonna be spotted right here the Herald will be able to put a headbutt down. Let's see if there's going to be an engage right here. Harry's is going to go down and both teams will just disengage. Actually, while that was happening, Maja got taken down by oh, Don yes. and Migi. Also have Don popping in with his ultimate. They knew that three champions from Grind Sky were down a Dragon Lane. And it seems that Liab was able to at least, you know, trade a kill for a kind of few life of their turret there. They were okay with the trade, you know. Just right. make sure they'll be able to get um, a kill. Was not able to finish the turret takedown though. So 1-1 one, one on the turrets. But the Yab Esports, they are still quite ahead. 2k go right. lead and 2 kills in their pockets. And that's it six minutes in that's already starting to snowball this is already snowball starting to look uh, look like for eab esports another turret is gonna go down uh that is going to be on the blue side uh taken down but the top side is gonna be traded right here i guess this will just be tower trades from tower trades bottom turret here too is gonna go down so that's in favor of Leo once more Yes, it is, because if you're gonna look at it, Dragon Lane side, Grand Sky Esports, they no longer have outer turrets. In retrospect, for the side of Liab, they still have one turret at the Baron Lane. I guess this, this also reflects over the fact that, first off, the first blood went over to Dawn, and they mm -hmm. were able to kill their Majo again, two, three minutes um, 
before the seven minute mark and even though they were not able to push the turret it just still opened more space for their team and right. if you're gonna notice we're almost at the eight minute mark but there's no full-on 5v5 fights just yet yes definitely it's gonna be very scary to go against liab right now especially at the 5v5 especially with this lead but that is going to be inevitable later on in this game. So that's going to be very interesting. The next Drake is going to be up. That's the Mountain Drake. So let's see if Grind Sky will be giving this up. Definitely, they're already starting uh, the uh, the control on this side of the river. So I think they're, they're going to fight for this. Maggie is already clearing the wards out. The Dragon is being started by Grind Sky at this point. Let's see what's the trigger of the fight. Nope. That's not going to be reset. Dragon is still being taken. Half HP done. Oh no, Maggie takes a lot of damage right there. And they're just going to opt for, for a gift right here. But they're going to get a trade. And that's a big one. Mid turret goes down as Grind Sky will take the Mountain Drake for themselves. You know what? Miggy actually just zoned out Grind Sky Esports there. He was just getting the attention. Whereas the other members of Layout, they said, Okay, let's not contest the Dragon. We already have an Infernal Drake. Let's just get something that does not regenerate or, or does not respawn. The turret, and that's at the mid lane. So right. they have more um, leeway. They now have the more map control. Majo just hiding that one. I will be able to clear out the waves just as quickly. I'm not sure if, if he's going to go with the face check, but apparently right. he will not. As Nidhi Nidhi being able to go back. And tactical. Okay, he has the first item in already. Um, compared to Elioni, he only has like 100, 200 gold lead. And now the Dragonling duo is still not going to be separated. So Larry Charge Blade, already available for this court. Yes, definitely. Nixu is just going back to the mid lane this time. So things are getting get, uh, getting stable at this point. We are now entering the 10 minute mark of the game. So we're already at the doorsteps of the mid game here at the top side good control by liab esports all over the map look how dark the map is onto the side of grind sky as the baron is going to be spawning in the next five seconds they will have to try to regain control of this map there it is baron is already up i think there's gonna be a fight no nope. just a uh, little uh little folks here and there but no one's gonna take significant damage at this point the usual drill, and honestly, the fact that Grand Sky Esports does not have damage at all in the mm -hmm. 10 minute mark that spells bad because if you're gonna look at the lineup of Liab, it's all about catching a champion off guard, it's all about CC CCing them to the ground, making sure they mm -hmm. cannot move. And if you have the, the kick that's gonna come through from Migi, as well as the charms from Nixu, that's gonna be a lot of problem. I thought Migi was gonna jump in, he has GA though. So he right. has this luxury to play a tad bit more aggressively. But looking at Dragon Lane side, you have the two Baron laners minded on business. The Yelp Esports now slowly locking in the Baron area. Yes, definitely. So control at this side of the map is going to be theirs, especially that they have the wrist coupler at the top side. So split pushes are starting to become a pain uh, for... Uh, Grind Sky at this point, Renekton at the bottom side. So Dawn's doing a good job with the pressure. So this is Ma Majo not being able to join the fights. And on the top side, it, the turret is almost already down with the Ari split push. Good thing that they have the Ziggs. Ziggs can always send out the ultimate to, to really help ease the split pushes. But you will need that also in the team fight. So this is a very hard balancing act for Grind Sky at this point. Also, um, can I just say that I'm waiting for Grand Sky to utilize this matchup, the um, this the Ziggs pick. They could take down turrets very quickly, but I haven't been seeing uh -oh. much of that yet. Uh, good attempt right there, but the creeps are going to be covering for Gragas right there. Meng will be okay as the charm will be blocked. Let's see. But good thing right here, Grind Sky, they're able to pressure the mid side. So at the very least, they can ease out the pressure from uh, that Liab is creating right now. But here at the bottom side, 1v1 action right here. Up, oh, Don will not go for the chase as he knows everyone from Grand Sky is near the fight. 
but and it will offer the split push pressure still. At the top side, pressure still on as Ari is already knocking onto this tier two turret. That's gonna go down. Zig sends out the ultimate right there. Babel is gonna connect onto two champions right here, and the fight is on. Ari will have to flash away, but will still go down. Nixu will be out for the fight, and Migi is already chunked down. Moraita boy takes the twin shadows right there so he is gonna be spotted grind sky will have an opening for this take right here the calling is gonna be casted right here by elione but that's not gonna be enough uh oh all right good heal right there by nami so mm -hmm. nixo is gonna be okay they're just up for the rift scuttler instead it's very hard for grind sky to take the baron right now even with the advantage Surprisingly, I thought they were gonna give that a go. It was a 4v5 situation, and mm -hmm. the fact that Elyon did use his duck calling, it just gives more space for Grand Sky. But I guess it was just Leia being able to assert their dominance. So, given that Nixu is still pretty far away, looks like Migi alongside Elyon will just get this Cloud Dragon non contested. Again, GA is still up for Migi, so he can do the usual Lee Sin combo. Well, the summon is going to be popped right, right there from the side of Meng for Grind Sky. They're going to focus on clearing out the wave. Tidal wave is available should Bo want to start anything. Migi jumping in. All right, Migi though will be focused on. GA is going to be popped. But here comes the cavalry. Moraita by on the side is going to be pushed away by the explosive cast. Dawn will enter the fight but will be chunked down by Yato. And that's the calling right there. And that will be it for grind sky they will not push for more kills for them as they are already down one champion in this fight so only of esports will just take the fight take one body with them no make the two bodies with them but here comes the punish right here uh oh Miggy will go in but will go down that is gonna be two champions not available for grind sky liab esports will still come on top but at the very least baron is not taken they can't because the junglers for both teams are actually taken down. Um, right. Earlier though, I have to say that was a very good moon soon coming out from Moraita Boy. He was able to stop Grand Sky Esports from trying to go with the steal. And in the fight before that, there was a, I guess, a, a good pass coming out from Meng. But the follow-up is just not there. The exhaust has been used on Nixu. And they were not even able to chase down Ari. I mean, if you're gonna be exhausted, you're already very slow. Right. Um, the burst coming out from Ari is still too much. I mean, look at look at her items so far. She has Rabadons. She also has the orb. So Nyx is gonna be a problem this point in time. We are at the 15-minute mark. Advantages still towards the side of Liab Esports. They have two dragons, they have five turret takedowns, and they are ahead by two kills. <laughs> No kill count game, I must say. Both teams just want to go with the macro. They want right. to go with the fights, and they they just want to turtle this game one out. Yeah, but good. A big thing to note is that Diab is sitting on a nine k gold lead right now. That is gonna be very big, considering the team fights that is gonna be coming up. Grind Sky is going to be feeling this. So right now, Liab Esports still in the driver's seats. What they can do is try to maybe bait out of another fight onto the Baron. Let's see if that's going to be happening. But both uh, teams right now are pretty turn, uh, pretty much turning up. They're here. Here we go. Liab Esports is going to be starting the Baron this time. Grind Sky does not have any vision in this so. area. They're going to use the redemption so that they can scout this out. But it's going to be a tad bit too late. And that is going to be... Liab Esports with the Baron wrapped as that was a gift from Grind Sky. It was also a very good Howling Gale and Charm coming up from Raita Boy and Nixu because if ever Grind Sky they want to go with the peekaboo with the peek at the Baron mm -hmm. area, they're probably gonna be seen right. by Liab Esports. So you see these small things that Liab Esports is doing. So now, Minion Equilibrium still gonna be the favor of Liab Esports. You have Baron buff minions at the 16-minute right. mark just charging towards your base, your side, your next and Grand Sky Esports. Again, they only have two turrets taken down against Liab Esports. Yes, at the bottom side though, Renekton, Dawn is gonna be facing against Majo. Med Majo has his hands full. Oh no, Renekton is gonna go in. But that's Ari going down before the team fight really is happening. Dawn is gonna be half HP down. Uh oh, that is Gragas going down and Meng is out of the fight. Mid turret already taken down. So that's one turret exposed. No, the Nexus is already exposed. Let's see. I guess 
is already the corky is already very low but will be able to stash it so he survives this time majo is one, gonna try to run away but he will be chased down and here comes these in onto the nexus nexus taking a lot of damage right now and liab wants this game one to end fast and they do yeah esports will win this